story to tell. With the ability to maneuver with a high precision missile system, with a range of up to 400 kilometers, experts say S-400 is one of the most powerful air defense systems in the world. The Russian S-400, known as the Triumph at home and better known to NATO as the SA-21 Growler, previously known as the S-300 PMU-3, it is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed in the 1990s by Russia's Armour Central Design Bureau as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It has been in service with the Russian armed forces since 2007. The S-400 uses four missiles to fill its performance envelope. The development of the S-400 system began in the late 1980s, and the system was announced by the Russian Air Force in January 1993. The first tests were performed in 1999. Development was finally completed in 2004. After a lot of testing, in 2007, the system was approved for service. The S-400 is also aimed at the export customers. China is the first country outside Russia that owns this air defense system. Turkey and India have ordered S-400 complexes worth billions of dollars despite growing from the US. Countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia have also expressed interest in buying S-400 to strengthen their defenses. S-400 Triumph and Panzer Missile System can be integrated into a two-layer defense system. The S-400 is intended to engage aircraft, ballistic, and cruise missiles within a range of 400 km at an altitude of up to 30 km. The system can simultaneously engage 36 targets. The S-400 Triumph air defense system integrates a multifunction radar, autonomous detection and targeting systems, anti-aircraft missile systems, launchers, and command and control center. The S-400 also launch missiles of the S-300 PMU-2, a single-tail vehicle TEL can carry a mix of four missiles, depending on specific threat environment. The first missile added to the system is a very long range 40M6. It has a claim range of 400 km. This missile has active radar homing and is used against AWACS, J-STARS, EA-6B support jammers, and other high-value targets. The second missile added is a long range 48 and 6 with a maximum range of 230 km. The third and fourth missiles are the medium range 9M96E2 and the short range 9M96E with ranges of 120 km and 40 km respectively. These are similar to the US Patriot Pack 3 design and are intended to provide point defense against persistent attacks and defense suppression weapons. It can be said that the S-400 is a real game changer. The 9M96E2 is one of the jewels of the S-400 system. It flies at Mark 15. It can engage targets as low as 5 meters off the ground and it can maneuver pulling up to 20 Gs. It is designed to knock out penetrating aircraft and missiles flying off the deck or just above ground and neutralize cruise missiles. The 55K6E is a command and control center 
based on the Euro 532301. The command post is equipped with LCD controls to process airspace surveillance data of the individual batteries. It controls and monitors long-range surveillance radar, checks airborne threats, prioritizes the threats, and coordinates other batteries. The system is also capable of exchanging data with other defense systems such as SA-12, SA-23, and S-300. The S-400 is optional acquisition radars designed to defeat modern stellar aircraft such as the F-22 and the F-35. They work by operating in multiple frequency bands, including both VHF and L bands that can see stellar protected fighters. The 91N6E is a panoramic radar detection system with range of 600 km with protection against jamming, which is mounted on an MCKT-7930. The S-band system can track 300 targets. The fire control and target tracking radar of the S-400 is the 92N6E. The radar is based on the MCKT-7930 8x8 vehicle. The 96L6G Sport 3D surveillance and tracking radar is optionally carried by the same vehicle when the S-400 battery is deployed autonomously. The S-400 is two times more effective than previous Russian air defense systems and can be deployed within five minutes. It can also be integrated into the existing and future air defense units of the Air Force, Army, and the Navy. One system comprising up to 8 divisions and can control up to 72 launchers with a maximum of 384 missiles. The missiles are fired by a gas system from the launch tubes up to 30 meters in the air before the rocket motor ignites, which increases the maximum and decreases the minimum ranges. All the missiles are equipped with a directed explosion warhead, which increases the probability of complete destruction of targets. Anti-aircraft missile system designed to destroy aircraft, cruise, and ballistic missiles. It can also be used against ground objectives. The S-400 is able to intercept cruise missiles out to a range of about 40 km due to their low altitude fly paths. The Russians have definitely made a breakthrough with sales of weapons to some NATO countries with uncertain futures in the bloc and strong US client countries such as Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states such as the UAE. The S-400 attracts many countries because it is considered one of the most modern weapons Russia possesses with its advantages not appearing on similar Western weapons. s forest radar, sensors, and missiles can control large areas. The radar surveillance radius is at least 600 km, and missiles can hit targets up to 400 km away. Meanwhile, the American Patriot complex only has a range of about 160 km. But all the above specifications are only on paper. We haven't seen any real battle with S-400 to see its true power. Let's wait and see. My video of S-400 defense missile answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye. See you again in the next videos.